Good evening from England and welcome to my channel Vasanthi. So what's the topic today? It's a fabulous topic I just wanted to discuss with you guys. It's about value, economic value of money and status. So what it is exactly? So how you see what is the value of money? So the, either it's exchange value or whatever it is, the status also, how you perceive it, whatever you do with money. So this is also one of the money topic that we can predominantly discuss here and hope so this uh, video is helpful to you guys if you can see the five five ways if you can observe it so where where you can get benefit pulls or whatever that you can call it as and if you can pick it up and if you can observe it where you stand it in a economic value of money and status that you just interpret it and introspect with these five things then you can come to know where you stand and where you want it to go in the life so that's hope so this uh, tips are useful to you guys and this tactics are very helpful because this is an elaborated topic i just wanted to cut short and give you the good content and good information to you guys let's go deep dive into the topic it's already been one minute i don't want to waste your valid time so what it is exactly the economic value of money and status how you perceive it and how you it the first thing is the observation is like value of money how you have to treat the money so that is very important how you it is like as a student you have to always uh, measure your uh, time and money with the courses how much you are spending for courses uh, how much you are getting the benefit from the courses that you have to see the money value so there you can measure it the value is like uh, how much uh, skill set that you are acquiring and accumulating it and what's the benefit that you are getting back as a student so if you're a professional and how much that you are rendering your services to the companies how you are getting the salary packages either it is a low package or a medium package or it is a satisfactory level and either you are a low skilled worker or a high skilled worker or you're working in a medium level people who works in a medium level also they are not getting good pay and sometimes they are not satisfied so how you measure your time and money so then you can find out the other ways to generate your income multiple generation is always helpful to you and it will save you in a rainy day so that's where you have to see and perceive and benefit and get the value means you can measure your value of money where you are investing uh, your time and your energy and whatever that you're doing it and even in the business also the same way that happens how much you are investing the capacity the capacity the value of money means the capacity of spending the sp capacity of buying so that is all depends on the value economic value of money so there are principles that i explained it law of diminishing marginal utility and a lot of law of returns or something so both are the good principles that you can if you go through that money principles then you will get more and more ideas how it was uh, perceiving the uh, money value so that is all and the second one is cost of living the observation that you have to do it that depends on every each and every country the cost of living varies that depends on the economical conditions and socio-economical conditions that depends on how here you will have to see in a value and status is like how much you are spending for your rental things and mortgage and your own house either you're doing renovation or refurbishment or you're spending on something something and the cost of living how much you are spending on food and groceries and heating and electricity and so much of stuff that how much you are spending is nothing but a cost of living. So that depends on your country where you are standing and where you are living it. And where you're migrating it that also because your home country is different currency and there the cost of living is different and where you're staying is different so you have to see as an international student or a professional that you're coming or a profession that you're applying and you're here the value of money i can say the exchange of money here the cost of living i can say so here the exchange of money rate is very high as like a pound is a very high than or some currencies which are more than a pound value the exchange values are more it's like saudi arabia some of the countries their currencies are more valid than a pound it is like 
So like here, it is cost of living uh, crisis is also there, but there are uh, little benefits. So I can suggest one thing. So whoever, whichever country, but I can suggest here who are staying in a British who wanted a help for this cost of living crisis that just go through this book, like what they don't teach you about money. She really suggested uh, how to cope up with the cost of living crisis and how to it because of cost of living crisis. The people what they're doing here in British like uh, they used to buy houses a lot. The spending capacity and the mortgage investments are more and more and it is like uh, properties are more and more. But now the properties the rules and regulations have been changed. The people capacity of uh, buying is uh, less and they're selling they're selling out and even some of them they're not interested to give even on a rental basis because they're just keeping their properties as like they're not using it even so because of cost of living burden so this is what the country situation but still people are coping up and still people are living it and the thing here if you're staying in british it's like not to spend much but save more so that is the way you can avoid the cost of living. Okay, whatever it is. So I already explained in minimalist life. So better to live as a minimalist for some time to save your money. So this in this cost of living crisis, okay, whatever, if you're selling out your property, don't ever feel bad. And it, it is affecting the psychological things, right? It is affecting your attitude towards the money as well and towards your mental status and even it's all deciding it's like economic value of money and even the status it is deciding the cost of living so then you just cope up and you should stick on to whatever you're working on it okay selling out selling out nothing wrong you're getting the profit right at least from return means whatever you spent on it so you're getting the money back and you can invest on it or you can use for this cost of living so something you can segregate it even it happens in a student also if you if you are coming as a student just to think about the cost of living expenditure and if you're doing the multiple part-time jobs also it is not good because if you're crossing the 20 hours so you're not going to get the other visas which are good to you so it's like a psw so you, you're not eligible so just think about it if you're staying in england so in us that is a different scenario in us people are working on in a different ways and their cost of living is a nice balanced and in asian countries also their capacity of buying is increasing predominantly and their cost of the status economical status is also increasing there in asian countries especially in india the cost of really uh, it's it's increasing too much and even in us also it is good so that depends on the location also that later i will explain in other principles so this is what you you can always measure the things and if you are really burdened to the cost of living so just go through this book and it will give you more and more ideas and benefit of living so benefit of living that you have to choose it that is your decision capacity where you wanted to live once you decide it so you have to prepare for the benefits the pros and cons both so wherever you are so how to get the benefit also you have to think benefit of living so what is the benefit of living in uk so what it is exactly good education that you are getting it because uh, there are all uh, good universities here so whatever university whichever that you're pursuing it and you will get good graduation and good education upgrading the skill set is the best way to get the benefit and instead of blaming something so just upgrade your skill set where you can fit it so don't ever be in a paradox or don't ever be sit in a one box so just elaborate your chances to expose and explore more and more industries to gain the knowledge and to gain the insights from the knowledge and to get the benefit from the industry even and some of the marketing industries are very famous here in digital marketing way so if you can invest your skill set there then you will get the benefit of good packages and perks and incentives and bonuses are there in the UK and even in US if you're working in technology field you will get more and more benefits like long-term visas and long-term living so once uh, the benefit of living is more and secured and sometimes it is not that depends on your case how you are perceiving how you are dealing with your life and with the circumstances so just think about it the benefit of living is like 
exploring the different different industries benefit of the student is like acquiring accumulating more and more knowledge so in this way you can utilize that skill set later and you will get benefit from the whatever the industry that you are going to work on it so this is what you will always observe this phenomena whether it is fitting for you or not benefit of living where you wanted to live that's your individual decision but once you decide it and where you will get more benefit which industry how to mold yourself how to adapt to the situations how you have to be agility and adaptable more into the industries and how you can get uh, means things done in your way that is depends on you so that is what the benefit of living and the fourth one is investment decisions so that's also depends on it the economic value and status of the money here i already discussed in the first one it's like cost of living say it's investment is also depending on here in england it's like a property investment is a bigger and huge one it's like in a british uh, it's like in uk so the people or investment uh, investments are more in uh, or you say it is like in a property management and uh, but uh, due to pandemic or due to cost of living uh, crisis and all people are selling the houses but investment decisions are changing right so this is what the economic value of money and status is clubbing together if you observe this this principle is really applicable so the investment decisions are merely and predominantly depending on uh, the economic value and status of the people so that is what it is call it as a capacity of buying capacity of spending so here investment decisions are changed so here the bigger market is the first one is property and the second one is manufacturing and third it's like second one marketing then third it will comes under manufacturing here in england so the capacity of spending and buying and investment decisions have predominantly changed because of uh, cost of living burden and property regulations have changed article 24 has changed it so that's why and it is it is affecting it so it suggest is go to the psychology of money so there you can get more and more uh, benefits like more and more insights about how to invest yourself and how to invest in a decision capacity whatever depends on you and your earnings and your spending so take the decision good and invest in a good way but what i can mix it here what i can collaborate and club it here the economic value and status it is decreasing here in england because of the cost of living crisis the investment decisions are changed so this is also predominantly interdependent on economic value and status so whatever in other countries it is all changing so they are investing more and they are getting the profit more and in us it's always uh, fluctuations also there but it is a stable economy so it is all getting good the investment uh, decisions are good it's like they they invest more in bonds they invest more in uh, other capital investments working capitals they have more and more flexibility and feasibility and even the support from the government they have so that's why their investment decisions are not much longer or much uh, what do you say uh, it's not mentally stress for them but here it is like people are think twice and tries and they have to invest it because uh, now the position is not good to invest anything so just keep it and save your money for a good good things uh, later you can invest it so the decision capacity of the people and the investment decisions are affecting as per the economic value and status so this is i can apply if you can observe it that depends on your decision that depends on your thing where you wanted to invest it either you are investing something you have to get the return also return on investment also one day it has to get it that you have to think about it either you are getting the uh, return on investment in a year or in a two years or a three years so that you should be sure about it and you should you should be accurate about your return on investment this is one thing an unfair advantage of the location and the place where you are living it so here unfair advantage is good education and you will get the part times if you work on it and in a different different segments so you will get benefit of it the like you can use your skill set in a different different way in uk so one thing is not working on it you can work on different things if you have a 
visa valid visa for four years five years then you can experiment on where you fit means where you fit in which industry so you can explore it and you will get the unfair advantage like here it is the pound is an unfair advantage so you can get currency is an unfair advantage so you will get benefit when you compare it to to us dollar and when you compare it to, to asian currency when you compare it to european currency so pound is a good one so there it's like an unfair advantage if you're living in you whatever you earn if you just convert it in your currency that is a good benefit when you are living here you thought you are not saving anything but if you convert to your currency that is a benefit to you and that is an unfair advantage wherever you are studying wherever you are but the location but the place where you are living living is an unfair advantage and you will you can grab the profit from the unfair advantage easily whatever it is so if you have a plenty of skills so get, grab it either you can turn your skill set into business either you can apply for different uh, high positions and you can get the benefit because they know they can um, estimate how knowledgeable you are so they can uh, take you in a higher positions uh, and a good positions also mid level okay because i have seen some of the linkedin profiles they don't have much experience but they promoted to the head of the sales and head of marketing and even i've seen some of the people so this is all unfair advantage they don't have much experience in their field but they showcased their talent once they joined in a junior level or in a mid level so they shown their talent and they shown exhibited their skill set so they gone promoted to the vice president level also so that that, they, that depends okay that's an unfair advantage right so the, your talent your skill set and how you are using it it's it you should get the benefit is a location i can say the place where you stay that will decide your monetary benefit and how you are using your skill set will decide your monetary benefit and your economical status and your value of money and status where you are staying at so this is what this is here it is what you can benefit because i have i did not see in other countries so that uh, people without an experience also promoting to different level that's an unfair advantage people won't think about what the degree you are and what Uh, degrees that you are accumulated and what experience you have uh, so they don't think about it if you are the right person for the right job and at the right time so you will get the benefit here people they don't much think as the recruiters and i've seen it how much they're spending uh, amount of money for their recruitment process i really astonished i gone through one of the recruitment consultancy when they explained the process i was really shocked how much they're spending on their money for recruitment so just i thought only they can post it in linkedin now the background so much of stuff they are doing it so that's uh, so that depends on your location and place where you are staying and the cost of living and the benefit of living and Uh, investment decisions are changing and your value of money everything it is interlinked and interdependent just think before you act whatever wherever you are living it but this, these are the benefits and if you can interpret and interrogate with yourself where you stand all these five uh, five ways and five methods so just go for it and introspect yourself and better caught with the economy or it is going on whatever it is going on whatever it is uh, uh, wherever it is taking you, taking the economy but you should be stable with yourself in personal and professional life it is helpful to you guys and useful to you guys and we'll see you in the next video happy weekend bye